you didn't have it here too. You don't have it. No, we're not this one. Thanks, David. Oh, look, uh, you must be proud to uh, be came back from such a difficult start. Ah, listen, I'm extremely proud of him. Um, anything I ask them boys to do, they'll do it. Um, we probably stayed in Wexford for the first 15 minutes and give them 12 pints or 11 pints for start. Um, and clear played some great stuff, but we let them. We let them attack the ball. We stood off them. I mean, if you stand off clear, they're going to hurt you. But many teams would have wilted. We didn't wilt. And I thought we controlled big part of the game after that, so we did. So I'm extremely proud of the lads. And to be totally honest, I have nothing but admiration for the Clare crew, and I wish them the best going on from here. Your own recovery from extra time against Kenny, both physically and mentally, I mean, it came through in that comeback. Yeah, no, we've no complaints. We lost two games. Could we have won them? We could have won them. We didn't. And um, we've nothing but safe fair play to, to fair. Dave, you're saying last year that you didn't leave because you didn't want to leave it the way it did, and I'm not, well, not going to ask you that question yet. Uh, but um, like these are two good games your side's played, and it's not. It wasn't like last year where he left it behind you, or it wasn't like last year where he didn't turn up on the day. Just two results that, that didn't quite go for you on the day. Oh, I thought we played actually good enough stuff. I just very disappointed with the first 15 minutes. I I know if we played the first 15 minutes, trust me. You've seen what Wexford are like. Very, a lot of teams would have left 12 points. Mm -hmm. We would have been right there. And we were actually right there. The soft goal we give away at the end. I felt we were going to stick one in the net down there. It was only a matter of time. And um, we did, but it was just that bit too late, you know. But um, the, the heart and the spirit, that's, you know, that's what the G is about. And I, I'll tell you something, lads. I've experienced the toughest year I've ever experienced in GA. The way myself and my family have been treated is an absolute another disgrace and the way I felt probably all week I didn't even know if I wanted to come into this game to tell you the truth um, and I'll put it to you like this in Clare the biggest problem we have is a small bunch of people that create problems they think they're helping and they're not and I'm going to put it to you like this very 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 simply it's I'm I'm a simple person that loves GA I think I've one of the most ever played for Clare GA. Um, my dad, who I'm extremely proud of, has done an unbelievable job. The amount of abuse and stick and criticism he has taken, unwarranted, is not, not justified. And can I say it to the people? People have brothers and sisters, mams and dads. People have people that actually care about them. And what? people in the media and clear have done is absolutely disgusting what people in social media have done is disgusting what one or two people one or two clubs have done instead of looking at themselves and how they can make their things better they have tried to pull us into a place that we don't need to be but can I say the amount the amount of support that I've got from within 90% of clear clubs is absolutely incredible and it's only the few we need to stop we need to stop we need to work together and I put it to you this way people said to me would you ever talk to Brian Lohan again or any of this? I'll tell you straight out, straight for the sake of clear, 110%. If someone got a meeting with me and Brian Lohan tomorrow night, I do it. Not, I mightn't like Brian Lohan, and I mightn't have much time for him and the way he does stuff. He wouldn't have, he'd have the same for me. But we shouldn't be at each other in clear. If clear to succeed, they all need to be together. And I'm saying it straight now. Would I put it to bed? I'd stand up in the morning and I'd go talk to anyone, and I'd shake hands and I'd put it to bed, 110%. I don't want Clare to be fighting with one another. I think we need to have a good hard look at ourselves in Clare and stop that. I hear the other night, the first thing they'll do is blame the county board for stuff. Easy target again. We, we need to stop that. We need to stop that. I, I see people that can get on keyboards and do stuff. Have they ever gone down the field? Have they ever worked with our clubs? Have they ever done stuff? We need to get a grip in Clare so do 110%. We need to work together. And I'll just bring it back. We all have families. We all have to get up in the morning and it hurts so much when your family is taken care of. But I'm proud. I am proud of my family. I, and let me say this, 99% of clear people are incredible people. The clubs are clear incredible. The few people that are creating the trouble, stop. Just stop and work together. And I can tell you 110%, me and my family will absolutely support clear to the last so we will. When I was a young bride growing up, watching Father Harry's teams in the late 70s, I absolutely loved them and idolised them. So my dream was to play for Clare and all I ever wanted to do was play for my own county. 
sir, to us, and I loved him with all my heart. It is not right, it is not right what's been done. It is not right. A bit of respect and people to stop with their egos and working together is more important. And I would encourage that to anyone, 110%, to work together. And I, I mean it 110%. I would talk in the morning, attend everything. I don't want to talk about any more of that again, but there is lies and stuff that was said early on the year that me and my family are very upset about. That will all come to roost very soon, okay? Guys, I'm finished now. I'd like to thank you for your courtesy. Thank you for everything, okay? So uh, I'm going to leave it at that. And I want to wish you all the best, okay?